your birthday was Sunday because people were like, yo, you posted late on his birthday. No, no, I, know, I know his birthday was yesterday. With the Kobe Bryant thing, it's yeah. tough to be like, hey, everyone, stay happy birthday to Brian. So I was like, I'm going I'm to save for Monday. Yeah, and I'll tell you I'm something. save for Monday. I thought about that too because I, I, I had three bummers in, uh, in my weekend. This is so fucking weird. So the day before my birthday, I'm sorry, it was the day of my birthday. It was the day in the morning of my birthday. What? Mm, two people I know who are one is 64 and the other is 62. I know them well, though, and I've known them many years. And they both called me to tell me that they have cancer. Mm. <laughs> and oh, I'm not God. kidding. And one is a very rare form of cancer. Do I know them? Have uh, I met them? No. Oh, okay. Um, but, but one is, uh, no, I think you might have met one of them. But, but Either both way, have, uh, yeah, and, and, and they're both full of life and good people. And I went, hmm. I was like, wow. The one, they're both serious situations. You know, life, it's not fight good. of your life. Yeah. yeah kind of stuff and and it was really sobering and then and then kobe bryant dies that was a bummer i'm not a baseball guy i mean a, f a basketball guy <laughs> but but really got me was his daughter and then i find out a whole family and then i find out three other little girls mm -hmm. and nine people and i know so there are, i know there are tragedies in the so world heavy. there are a lot of tragedies in the world because that's so close to home, because it just it just sucks. It's just a bummer. The whole thing's a bummer. It's just such a bummer. It was so but mainly. Heavy, I thought about I thought about Kobe's wife and two daughters, and he's got a third who's an infant, but the two daughters, and they have to walk by their child's room, their their sister's room, Oof. their child's room, and that child's never gonna be in that room. Oh my God. And I think about that because you and I have children. You and I have Different children. Different animal. And we know how how unbearable oh. that is for them right I, now. I told Chin all I I couldn't sleep last night thinking about. You know, Kobe at 41, young man, has a life by the balls. And do you know why he was flying a helicopter? No. To, so he spend more time with his family. He got a helicopter because he wants to sit in traffic, yep. so he takes kids to school and spend more time with them. Sure. So that's the origin, original reason he got the helicopter. And his daughter was 13, who was, the, who was always like, I'm, I'll represent, yeah, I'll represent the, the legacy. Girl. She was yeah. the baller. She, was a, she, she had the mamba mentality. Yeah. So um, I, can, and I was telling Chin this, I'm below the belt. I, I couldn't sleep last night thinking about... Just when that plane, you know, they're in that fog and they were trying to figure it out and right before it hit the thing, you hear, pull up, pull up. And I just, you, you I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, there's a video of, uh, there's no, an well, auditorium? Well, there's, there's, there's after the, the investigation. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there's deep fog and he got a special clearance to still fly. Uh, so there's a deep fog and in Calabasas where, Calabasas where he was going, you know, they ran to the mountain yeah. and I just picture, you know, these these nine people and I you know I'm sure there was talking like oh, I can't see and I just you know, I bet they heard pull up pull up and then just that you know you know, yeah, you know. Like his, I bet his heart went oh fuck yeah and just that yeah fuck yeah yeah and I you know and I just think I just I don't I can't get this picture on mine of him just going oh and then yeah yeah I like to think that I was, think about I, the, I like to think it was quick I like to think I that was so. I'm sure oh fuck I'm sure Game it was. Match. I'm sure it was. I, I just I think about the phone call that his wife got, and his wife having to tell their kids, and that, that that's the kind of stuff. And and that family, there there was a family, uh, a baseball coach from Orange County with his mm -hmm. his two daughters. I Phenomenal think his wife coach too. Was he? I'm sure. Phenomenal coach. And uh, it was just such a bummer, man. It's one of those heavy bummers. But it's the heaviest. I'm like, eating. I'm eating in a restaurant. Like it's in a, the heaviest. In a, I'm eating in a Lebanese restaurant. It's a place called Playa Pita, which is really authentic Lebanese. And the guy there who cooks all the food by his hand, he said, he said his daughter was killed too. And I went, oh, you know, because I have an 11 year old. I go, oh no. I look up, and he said, my daughter's 13, and he went back to work. And it was just these heavy. There's nothing to be said. We just shake our heads, hold our heads down. You know. In in some ways, you go the day before this. You would have said the Bryants are the luckiest kids in the world. That's a, that household and everything. A lot of, and then then you go they're the, the most unlucky. And, and the, you know, it just I, shows I mean, you how like, fragile life is. Like, yeah. I'm sure you woke up yeah. this morning. I was like, probably told his girl, "All right, babe, uh, I'm I'm gonna take uh, Gigi to basketball, and then we should be back. You know, probably around four four thirty. So make sure and they have these plans, and then it's like. Yeah, it's over, man. Yeah, it's over. Play that it's video over. I sent you, Chin, okay. of him describing why he has the the. It's and like I'm sure all he's always of, been flying in a all over heaven. the world. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. feeling it, but it's like you I, you can you you can cut the sadness with a knife in LA, man. Mm -hmm. When you get on the traffic, everybody feels yeah. it. 
everybody. Well, he was a Laker, right? He was a hero. 20 years. You know, after school activities, all that fun stuff, even on weekends. But then traffic started getting really, really bad, right? And I was sitting in traffic and I wound up missing like a school play mm -hmm. because I was sitting in traffic and this, this thing just kept mounting. I had to figure out a way where I could still train and focus on the craft, but still not compromise family time. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I looked into helicopters and be able to get down and back in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. and, and that's when it started. And so my routine was always the same. Waits early in the morning, kids to school, fly down, practice like crazy, do my extra work, media, everything I needed to do, fly back, get back in carpool line, pick the kids up. And my wife was like, listen, I can pick them up. I'm like, no, 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 I, I want to do that because mm -hmm. like, you know, you have road trips and times where you're not, you don't see your right. kids, man, right. you know? So like every chance I get to see them and spend time with them, even if it's 20 minutes in the car, like I want that, you know, yep. after school. I get that, you and I live that way. I'll do whatever I can. I race back to take them to tennis or whatever it is. Oh, there, there's a reason I don't work on Sundays. There's a reason why I won't do any shows at a certain time. Yeah. I won't, there's a reason why I don't do that many other podcasts. You know what? You know I get done you, with this, I race home. You know when you know you. You know when you, <laughs> you're a parent and th this is all you have to do to describe how much you love your kids. When my kids are watching TV, I watch their faces. I don't oh, watch yeah. the TV. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You watch how excited they get. Oh yeah. So, uh, yeah, man. It's, we should probably address such a we should probably address because we've been getting a lot of dms and stuff i think it's appropriate to address and i don't like doing this because i don't like giving it any time and i don't like giving it any i don't like honoring it with any attention mm. but i do think it's 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 important to address someone who's in our community that we know who's been on this podcast um ari shafir and what he said in his video and his his the reason I, I, I sent him a text yeah so I, I don't i don't believe in talking behind anybody's back because i i got a lot of it i got a lot of i got a lot of texts from other comics Me who too. are like can you believe this uh, including so people many. that are very close to him so many and a lot of people in the business that were really outraged so and many. then when i saw it instead of i didn't want to join the melee i i, I like to talk about if i'm going to talk about somebody i'm going to tell to their face but no I, one talks shit about them no, no. everyone just goes i can't like you can't believe it. Something's wrong. What's going on yeah. here? And 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 I said I sent him a long text about how I just found it really offensive. And I I regretted sending the text. I even said to him, I go because we got into it a little bit. Yeah, you did. And I and I and I and I and I realized. I said I don't know you that well, and I'm actually regretting I even sent the text in the first place. What am I doing? Why am I even? T why am I? What am I scolding Ari? Why are you what, putting energy? In why am I, I? I I can't. Why am I? What am I doing with I, this? I guess it's not my place to even say this to Ari. But I didn't want to talk behind his back. I want to talk to him. You know? But it is and it isn't because you're kind of, you know, you're a mentor, you're an older guy, you've been around the game longer than everybody. So it's like, uh, I, I guess when I saw it, it just made me sad. And then I like, I don't, I, I, I just, I don't, I don't get the humor in, in any of it. I and like the whole, the whole shock thing. If Ari was, if Ari was it. an asshole, I wouldn't care. And I'm going to say this to people that I don't know Ari well, but I know people that know Ari very well. And, and I'll say this about Ari. And, and my experience up until now with Ari has always been that he's actually a very kind-hearted, yeah, agree, very kind-hearted human being mm -hmm. who means everywhere and everywhere all the best. He's always been nice to me. That so for me, I I swear to God, and I think you know this is true. When I saw that and I was getting all those texts, I guess because I am older and I shouldn't have done this. I had this instinct to be like, hey, bro, you you can't do this. Yeah, I think I don't want to see him no, ruin his you, fucking life. I think life. you've earned that. I, I hope so. If I text him, was like, dude, I can't believe you did this. This isn't a joke to me, and yeah, I haven't earned that. But if you, or if you are Rogan or someone, yeah. who, who, his peers, that's fine. But he, he's never been, the, the, uh, yeah. I, but I, I still I, felt inappropriate. But I, I felt like I, I literally felt like because people were like, well, this is it for him. This is going to be like you know when you do something like this, getting sponsorship, getting a special. That's very it be, made, just makes it way harder. It's already hard. I don't know if he cares and about. My that. instinct was to be like, hey, this isn't who you are. I, at but, least but, I, I've but, never but seen he, that. But he's that. done it before, and I'm like an outing where we've had we had a discussion with someone else who's yeah. close with him, and he goes, "Well, whenever someone dies, it's what he does." And I just went, "But why? Like even creatively, it's not that funny. It's not." I think, and, and, and I'm, I'm sure there's a niche group of fans. I don't give a fuck about or, them. No, I'm just saying that might be like, oh yeah, they're like, but you're not, you're not going to win doing like dude, it's. Here's what I here's here's my thing. Yeah. It's not the way to go, man. No. It's just not it's not cool in any fashion. I think I think what you what we're trying to say is I, I think certain things go beyond what's called they 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 go beyond 
There's something called common decency, and this this was against common decency. But but my here's my mean, my message it wasn't. But my th- but why do it though? Is yeah. it to move tickets? Is it to gain those that underbelly of rotten fans who jump on board? With I don't. I, I. But why? But why do it for? To get attention, maybe an angle, maybe an what angle of being but, the heel. But, but even, but even his, but the narrative of, oh, I'm glad this rapist died. Hold on, Ari. Hold on, and Ari's always been nice to me. Nothing but great to me. So I'm not going bad on Ari. What I'm saying is, I don't understand it because, from from his point of view, the rape stuff, the allegations. Look into that man. He didn't. You, he so says he you, followed it really closely. But I said you it, didn't, I said, though. You didn't. But you didn't, though. No. But you, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm no. from there. I'm no. from there. I'm from there. I know people who are around there. I know people who know that girl. I don't, I don't have all the facts. I don't have all the you facts. You have a lot of them. I have he says, she says, right? Which Ari does, too. Any narrative that I want to paint, I can Google on the internet. If I want to Google Brian Count's an asshole, I can find yes. the narrative that's going to paint that. Yes. If I want to uh, find uh, Joe Rogan's an extreme leftist, I can find that narrative. Yes. Somewhere on there, I can get that confirmation on the internet. So if Ari was searching for that, you're going to find it. Yeah. But you don't know the facts. No. I don't have all the facts. What I do know is what know what the courtroom found. We know that. Yeah. We know it settled out of court. Yeah. And we, know, and we do know that, that young lady's history. That was proven after this. And we do know account upon account of personal people that know Kobe Bryant who says he's a great guy. We do know a guy who has access to the h- women upon women that has no history of rape before this. We do know that. So when a man of this, a unicorn amongst human beings dies and he's a dad and what he represented. He dies with his daughter. Yes. And you take the and narrative. Two other children. To go, oh, this rapist. It's just like, well, hold on, dude. Why do you think nobody talks about that rape case anymore? Why also, do you think that? Also, if you cared about that rapist, Where if you, you cared about that girl, did you give her money? Where were you? For, but why, why now? And, and, well, and you can't say I looked into the case but, when but you did. But this was look not this. Case. This was not this. No, that's but, not even. The he, I think what happened. That's was, an angle. I think what happened is that he had an impulse. Uh, yeah, he was. He, if you see it, he goes Hollywood liberals who attack comedy enjoy rooting for the Lakers more than they dislike rape. That's a very clumsy thing to say. It, 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 it's 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 very clumsy. Well, all of us go. That's such a clumsy, weird thing to say. And and I and. And I, I, I will say this about him. I, uh, the, the only thing I will say that I heard from a reliable source is that he didn't know Kobe was on the chopper when he wrote this with children. Be, be. I'm not giving, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, hey, because then he doubled You've been down. Well. Then he doubled down. You've been doing well. What I'm trying to say you is. Because you had that text exchange with Yes, him. I did. And then, and then what I realized is that I think, it, it, what, I'm, what I want to say is this it doesn't matter. <laughs> What I was going to say is it doesn't matter. It's still just a shit thing to do. Yeah. And and seems so out of character for this guy. I, like I like I, it's my, so puzzling. Ari's to always me. been he's always been nice to me. He's Ari's always been great to me, man. Ari has a million reasons to I don't shit know on. him. I don't a know million, him well enough. But he never does. Yeah. He's always been great. Yeah. So when I saw him, I went, "Oh, cuz it first got brought to my attention from Rappaport." Yeah. Rappaport and goes, "This is your fucking friend?" I'm like We're cool. Now, if you did it, or Rogan did it, or you know, Dalia did it, that's a different argument. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know Ari enough to text him. No, I so I'm, I don't I'm either. In, I'm actually, in no position to tell Ari what he can and can't do. Yeah, you know, Ari's a grown ass man. I just found it so ill. It's will just and poor just, taste, bro. It's beyond. But, but even the but it even shatters the, common decency. It's poor taste. But it's even a the narrative's not. Thing. Yeah, even it's the narrative's not well. It's a shitty thing to do. But it's not. It's like even the whole. The there's no comedy narrative. in it. There's no there's comedy. No comedy. In it. But there's also no. Like I looked into the rape. No, you didn't. No. 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 It's, I just. It's it's, hard, it's, it's it's heartbreaking. It's not only it's puzzling. And it if it offended me, and it actually hurt my feelings. Me too. It made me. It made it, me sick. I found it. I found it. It made me so angry, and it's why I sent that text. I was getting all the thing. You know why? I like, because this is this it, is not. I can't. I can't have it. We can't have it. I, I, but my, my thing is, is like that's that stuff exists. I expect this out of like those trolls like online. It just like, makes the world oh, a f- shitty fuck place. Fuck this dude. Go Celtics. It's like uh, it, yeah. that makes sense. That make that's uh, all right. You're you're looking for some sort of attention you're not getting, yeah. and you're a loser, and you're a troll, yeah. and you're you have an egg as your avatar. That makes sense. Or you're a yeah. you're a private profile. I get that from from their side. They're they're looking for some way to get attention. Yeah. But with Ari, I'm like it just it doesn't make sense, dude. Yeah, it's a bummer. Because no one's gonna go. Oh, dude, did you see Ari shit on 
Kobe Bryant, the day he died, I'm buying a ticket to that show. Yeah. I just don't. I, I, and even if they did, God damn it, man. Yeah. It, it, in a way, it's like getting, it's like. Oh, he's always been nice to me. That's what bugs it, me. It, it's, he's it, always been great. But to the me. problem is, I think what people are doing is what, what happens is you, you, you're profiting. It's profiting off of the death and tragedy of, of someone in a way. It's trying to jump on that. Either way, I think it sucks. It's very puzzling. I don't, I don't, I'm going to end it with this. I don't need to talk about him or, or to him or any of that anymore. Um, it's all good. I just wanted to say that to yeah, cause fans. does he do it to we get because we got a lot of but does he do it to get a rise, everyone? Because because then we're given what the I think, narrative I think, wants. I right? think like any human being, if you ask somebody who did something like this, they maybe in a year he won't. He'll he he might regret it. Maybe he regrets but he's done it, it before. Yeah, I think I think he's done it. I don't before. know his history. I really don't he, know. His he history. does because I we're talking again. We're talking to a mutual friend who knows him very well. Goes. He kind of always does this. I don't agree with it, but he kind of always does. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, okay. B, if you did this, I don't know where your next show is. You did this, yeah. seven people show up to your show. Yeah. Yeah. But I would never do that. I don't have that in my, in my body to do this. Yeah, it's 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 a weird uh it's it's a weird it's it's more of a fuck you to the world. It whatever's going on with him, it's a it seems like an anger and a fuck you to the world. That's what it is. So, I think his account was suspended. No, this is from a while back, so I'm just seeing what his history is like. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the, I guess it's just puzzling. It's just puzzling. Uh, we had to we had to address it. Because he's a we comic, he's been to. on the Too podcast. Many we know him. A lot of people are hitting us up with this. I had to address it. I didn't want to. I guess but I stand. But everything I've said here, I'd say right to his fucking face. I'll always say it. I, 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 I I'm. It's disappointing. It's offensive. Uh, it, I, I can't have it around me. No, it makes and, me sad. Uh, and I, I, I would just say makes any, me sad. all of this said, I, I have and will say it to his face. Uh, so I'm not talking behind his back. Yeah, I, don't I, don't, like, I, don't I don't like going bad on anybody who can't defend themselves. Who's right here? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I, don't think, I think this is indefensible. I don't have, if I saw him, I have nothing to say. What are we going to talk about? I, but as far as this, like, it's like, oh, I don't agree with you, man. I think it's super fucked up. Okay, well, I think you can, I can make a joke anytime. Nothing's too soon. All right. That's your prerogative. That's oh, fine. But it's not a joke. There's no joke. Where's the I, comedy? But I'm just, uh, uh, but all right. You, where's the comedy? Could you find any comedy? I've been doing comedy a long time. You would know better than me, Brian. I, I, have, I have no idea. You, but that's what I'm saying. There's I'm nothing saying. to talk about. Yeah. I I'm, don't, just, I'm just wondering. It just, hurt, it just hurts my feelings. Ari's always been so kind to me. And I see that. I'm like, oh, well, I can't. I. Yeah. What are we in? Yeah. What? Did he did he pull it down the tweet? Um, I heard he tried to. He posted on birds and then uh, there's a video that I think he, he took posted down. on birds and then he posted a video and then I think the backlash was so bad he took it down. Yeah. But then you know how, you know Twitter or Instagram once it's out it's out, dude. Yeah. All right, we've said enough. That's where we stand on it, and uh, you know. I have a question about that. You guys know him kinda. Like you kind of know his history, right? He, 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 you gotta, I don't though. You, you gotta you realize. Don't, you, don't. When, you gotta realize, like, and you you speak for me because you were here before this. But when I got brought into like the group, I met Brian, I met Chris, I met Sasso. So Rogan, Brian, Sasso, Delia, those were my guys. I was never like Ari was already in New York. Yeah, I, I know Ari through Rogan. And then, you know, he, then he's friends with Bert. Everything I know about Ari up until I don't this know point, him everything I've seen with Ari, everything I've uh, everything I've seen, every conversation I've had with him, everything I've watched him do up until this point has been positive. I'll say that. That's what's I don't know enough, but I've but I've, he's done this that's before, why this was so that, shocking. I'm just telling you the fans okay, are like, dude, know. then you don't know Ari. I don't fucking he, know. When people he's done shock stuff like this before, but yeah. I, I don't really see it. Again, I don't I don't yeah. see a lot of stuff, but but this this is a this is, seems to be a next. That's what I'm asking. Do you think it's self sabotage? Yes. In no, not with Ari. I think he. I think this is this is what he does. Huh. It's because a, that, that, that and, was and like I said, there, there's going to be a niche. A there's going to be a niche demo who are like, oh yeah, dude, of course, yeah. Cool. who have you know who have no fucking clue what they're talking about. Cool. If you're one of those people, do not come to my show. <laughs> don't come to Brian's show. No. Don't listen to this show. No. This ain't for you. No. I'm not about that, man. No. Yeah, I'm not I won't interested. tolerate any of that. <sighs> no. Nah, man. It's a, it bummed me out. Me too. It bummed me it out. You know, I got global perspective. I know there's tragedy everywhere. And I know there are bigger tragedies. But that bummed me out. <laughs> it And it should. I was, it I, was, should. I was crying and this morning. Should. I was yeah. crying this morning, man. Yeah. They're showing his daughter. Well, you know, Brendan, you're an athlete. Play. 
And I think you have a very intimate understanding of what it took to become him and how rare that dude is. Uh, that, and, that, and, and, you're and, being and too kind. I have no it's, idea what it's, it's like. Well, that's right. And it's more than just athleticism. It's the, the ability to manage excellence across your whole life. This is what we all try to do. We all try to be, we all try to self perfect. And when you see somebody who's able to do it on a level, not just athletically, socially, but as a family dude, and you see that, you, you are reverential. When I, I, I saw him one time, never met him, but I saw him, I was just standing, I was looking at him, I go, well, that's, he's the best, at, he's the best at what he does. Anytime somebody like that is lost at 41, when they have a lot more work to do, it sucks. It's a fucking bummer. Mm -hmm. And to be mocked, nah, yeah. fuck off. All right. It's uh, such a shame, man. Yeah, and, and, and again, let's not, the family, the other family. Oh, the other family, the other people died? The, Horrible. The, the other thing... Just as terrible. The other thing, too, is, um, you know, there, there's a very famous race, British race car driver who's like a billionaire who got around a helicopter, and his, him and his family died in the same way um, yeah. in a helicopter yeah. a few years ago. My dad, who's a will pilot... We bring that up, Chin? I, I call I, my dad, who's a pilot, and he looks at these stats all the time. I go, are helicopters dangerous? And he said, no. He said, people live in helicopters. They live in them, you know? Yeah, but and, the thing is, when you crash... It, it's, it's not. It's not. It's, if you crash, game you're going to... Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's the guy. Who yeah, we right. talked about this guy before, just on about he, how he looked, and then we yeah. saw this crash too. Yeah. So it was with his daughter. Yeah. Very famous. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus ads. We're all going. Yeah, I, I think that's the biggest thing. You like, you know, you just you realize like, fuck, man, you never know. Yeah. No. You so never know. This right now. Yeah. 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 Watch your tone. Uh, okay, what's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? Use some of that <laughs> boxing you've been doing? Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking disrespect? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>